something I forgot. Nails. I don't know what's wrong with nailing into that stuff, but a whole reel of nails. There's probably half of them on the ground that exploded. Anyway, here's a video. All right, good morning, guys, YouTube people, <clears throat> world, whoever, whoever. All right, if you're going to be doing James Hardy siding, concrete siding, um, I don't know if there's other stuff out there that you can use. However, I bought two of these saw blades. By the way, welcome back. Half fast, 719. So, it says right there, fiber cement. So, it's a six tooth, whatever, five eighths inch. 8300 RPMs. I use it on the Matabo because I got the Matabo basically for free. Uh, I bought a roofing nailer, <clears throat> a roofing nail gun, and then this came free. So, I gotta throw this on the charger. Um, yeah, great little saw, by the way. I think it's probably. The better of saws than like ergonomically. Sorry, I gotta plug it in. Okay, so ergonomically, it's probably one of the better saws that I've used. I have a Milwaukee one over here, and that's powerful, great, everything. <clears throat> but I like the saw, so anyway, I bought two of those saw blades. And, uh, yeah, I went through two saw blades. This saw blade's trash now. And, uh, <clears throat> pain in the butt. Anyway, let me just first show you the best tool I've ever bought for a helping hand. So, uh, yeah, it's SA903. They're called... Pack tool gecko gauge. So basically, they go in the siding. <clears throat> you have to get two rungs, two rows of siding up first before you can start using this tool. But I thought they were metal. They're not. They're just a plastic, I believe. Plastic. They feel plastic. Anyway, they're adjustable. So you can adjust the screw to. I don't know how many inches, but we were doing, oh, from four to eight inches right there. Adjust a quarter inch increments for four to six inch siding reveals, or four to eight inch, sorry. We did six inch because I manually did it by hand. Uh, six inch on the one side, because I didn't have those. And it was me, my kid, and we were doing everything with a level and uh, pencil and yeah anyway um, the one side came out good the back side came out I think way better because we use these little gecko things so definitely get this don't get these don't get any saw blades um, for a circular saw I think they make a like shear a paper shear but I don't know how that'll work because this stuff is very fragile and breaks like just bumping it breaks it like if you bump it into the side so what I've been using is this little diamond blade on a grinder and man this thing this thing rips so when I when the saw blade was brand new um I think, uh, I don't know. I think I got like 10 cuts out of a saw blade before the saw blade went trash. And, uh, and it probably took, I don't know, maybe a good 
30 seconds to go through it. And with this thing, literally like 10 seconds to cut a piece of siding. Just cut it, cut it. Definitely recommend that if you're going to be doing the siding stuff. Um, I'll show you guys. Oh, I don't even have... There's not even a, a thing. Anyway, I have a new one. There's also this. I didn't use that. But, yeah, I thought there was a... Uh, I thought there was a paper or something on it that said what it was. But, anyway... That's what I used. I'll try to find the link. I got them and had the wife order them on Amazon. Way better than these blades. These blades, you're fighting and it, the saw wants to lift because it wants to bounce. And uh, the lines were never were never straight with the saw. Never. No matter how you hold it, held it, the saw blade wanted to walk, wanted to do whatever it wanted to do, flex. Junk. Screw the saw blades. Um, but yeah, so yeah, anyway, I was working on the Yamaha and the wife decided she wanted to come out here and do this and I didn't want to, but I did. So anyway, you can see this is a, a cut from the grinder. Pretty nice and smooth cuts. That is not a cut. So this is a factory cut edge. See, it's pretty straight. This is the grinder cut edge. <clears throat> and I'll show you a saw. A saw cut edge. Throwing stuff in the trash as we're going. Hmm. Anyway, that is not one. <clears throat> so this is this is saw cut right here with the saw blade. Because I could see my drag mark from the uh, from the guide or from the foot of the saw. But anyway, if you can see, it's it's a really bad cut. Um, it leaves a raised spot over here, so stuff could peel off. Anyway, don't recommend that. a saw blade. There's another saw blade cut. So, and anyway, that's what we did yesterday. Keep in mind, there's different color pieces, but it all has to be painted. But yeah, this is what the kid and me did by hand so we weren't obviously probably six inches because you can see these ones start to line up we lined up the first couple were good and then I think the kid and me just went off of something else because you could see like this one here gets a lot bigger the gap so it's probably like six and a half inches, six and a half, six and a half. So anyway, and then these are all six inch. But I'm leaving it. I don't care. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've had the material forever. It's been in the 
shipping container out of the weather. So now we just have the one other side to do. Which I don't know when I'll do that. I've been planning on doing the backside for probably like a year now or more. So I'm probably going to have to get more more of this stuff um yeah i don't know i might try i might try to do since i have the tools and stuff out i might just try and do it today finish this material off and then this way i can get um go to home depot and get the rest so anyway yeah, tips, tips and tricks of doing this James Hardy concrete fiber siding stuff. So before I got the little saw blade, the little grinder blade, which I've had for, I don't know, three or four years. Before I figured, I, let me go try that. We were probably out there for two hours cutting um, first saw blade, like I said, lasted. <clears throat> so we had to rip a piece all the way because the concrete's higher on that side of the room than this side of the room. So in order to make it level, even though they're not even, you know, lined up. But anyway, to make it lined up, uh, we had to rip a piece down. So we ripped one piece and I think I got two more just straight little eight inch cuts, whatever, how long the siding is. I think it's eight inch. So ripped the whole piece and then got two cuts and saw blade was trash. Now I'm, I could be using it wrong. I could be going too fast. I could be going too slow. But anyway, either way, doing it wrong or whatever yeah the saw blades and then when I put the little grinding disc on there oh yeah so the first blade I got that far second blade um I did about 10 15 cuts with it and uh Anyway, I did like 10 or 15 cuts with the one saw blade and it just kept, like I could not keep it cutting. It kept wanting, it kept lifting. Like this is the saw blade. It kept lifting and walking the blade. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what happens today. If I feel like getting out there or not. Anyway. For the most part, I'm gonna get off here and uh, yeah, just clean up tools or I'll figure it out. But my main goal for today is I want to take the tractor around the yard and plow a bunch of these weeds. So, all right, guys, that's it. See you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Later.